now that the market has normalized a little bit, we're in the fall season and homes are not selling in the same day like they were during the spring and, and summertime, um, are you wondering why your home isn't generating the interest that other homes may have in the in, you know, previously? Uh, well, hi, hi again, I'm Frank McManus with Lamaki Realty and welcome to Let's Get Frank About Real Estate. And uh, today I wanna share just a few reasons why this might be, why you're not generating the interest that maybe um, your neighbor's home did during the spring and summer. Um, and so let's start from the top. The vast majority of the time, the biggest contributor uh, to not generate interest is overpricing. Um, I dare to say that there is zero amount of marketing that anybody can do to overcome a house that is simply overpriced. Um, you could have the most outstanding house on the block, in the neighborhood, in the city itself. But that being said, um, when buyers are looking at homes, if it's overpriced, they just won't come. Proper pricing is critical to the success of the sale of a home. Uh, number two, lack of professional photographs. <laughs> It's funny, uh, I, this is another big contributor. It's actually a close second probably to pricing. Um, nothing is more detrimental than photos that look like they were taken with a cell phone. Think about when you look at homes, uh, even for fun, online. Uh, when you come across a home where the pictures are really narrow or they're blurry or they're distant or what have you, you tend to skip right by them. Same thing with buyers here, okay? Professional photos are a must to make your house stand out amongst everybody else and catch a buyer's attention, okay? Uh, the next one would be that it's not show ready. Not show ready. Now this doesn't mean your house has to look like a hotel, but it does have to be decluttered. It does have to be clean at the very least, okay? Um, but uh, just like overpricing, just like marketing can't help overpricing, professional photos can't help a house that doesn't present itself well. Okay, you know, professional photography Professional photography can only do so much, but if your house isn't decluttered, if it isn't clean, if it doesn't look show ready, professional pictures may not be, the, may not be able to help you as much as you would, you would hope or think. Um, the next one, lack of accessibility, okay? Buyers are just as busy as you are as sellers. And when they set up times to look for homes uh, that they're interested in, Okay, so you, you priced it right, you've got professional pictures, the home, the, the home is ready to show, but if the buyers can't access the house, then they're not going to consider it. They are just as busy, busy as you are, and when they set up times to show a home they're interested in, it's on their time. It may not be convenient, but when a buyer is interested, you have to let them through. Every buyer that looks at your home is an opportunity for you to sell, and every buyer that can't access your home, you've just lost that opportunity. Um, lastly, um, there are probably more that we could talk about, but in this case, lastly, we're not out of the woods yet either, okay? Realtors are still on, are on the hot seat just as much as these other ones, but you may have hired the wrong person to sell your home, okay? Um, a great agent, will likely help you avoid all the pitfalls that we just spoke about, okay? So that being said, um, they are going to help you price it right. They are going to market the hell out of that house. They are going to hire professional photography to make it look its best. They're going to help you get the house show ready. So make sure you are hiring someone based on their ability to accomplish all these things and not someone who uh, is gonna tell you what you wanna hear, uh, tell you they're gonna list the house at the highest price just to make you happy to get the listing, um, and, uh, and, and do whatever they need to do just to simply get your business. Hire somebody on their merits, hire somebody that is going to be frank with you, no pun intended, about what your home value is based on the market and the inventory and the season that you're in. Hire somebody based on the amount of marketing they're going to do for you and actually carry out for you. Hire somebody that is going to help you um, with a, a proper scheduling to help you with having buyers get access to your home. Hire somebody on their merits. Don't hire somebody who's just gonna blow skirt or smoke up your skirt uh, and just to try to please you to get the listing, okay? So take all these into consideration. Uh, make sure you're priced right. Make sure you have professional photos. 
make sure your home is, is clean and decluttered, make sure it's accessible, and make sure you're hiring the right person to do the job. I hope these tips help you. Uh, maybe it'll help clarify why you're not generating interest or why you can generate more interest going forward. Until next time, have a great day.